Peace, love, and light. This message is for Scorpios. Scorpios, checking to see what's in your energy. Uh, thank you, Scorpios, for all your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. We are on the road to 10K. Thank you for your support in getting there. Personal readings are being offered at this time. All information can be found in the community tab as well as the description box. Let's get into your messages. It's trying to see if I can adjust that. All right. Okay, checking to see. Okay. Oh, three of Pentacles showing up for you. I keep getting this energy from here. Um, like your spiritual team, your spirit guides, ancestors, protectors, they're teaming up with you. Yeah, it's like the, it's like they got their hand in in the business of what it is that you seek. I'm seeing that some of you are looking to get justice in something. You're going to get justice in something. Um, also possibly having to do with your financial endeavor. Messages from Scorpio. Okay, Nine of Cups. Someone wants to say something. Someone's going to say something. Hmm. Someone wants to be in your energy, get in your energy. Uh, this is also an energy of like, you're having victory in the matters of the heart. Ooh, couple knights showing up here. Knight, okay, you got knight of pentacles, knight of cups. Financial endeavors, relationship endeavors. Um, wow, look at all these knights. Knight of cups, knight of pentacles, knight of wands. Your spirit guides are wanting you to focus, uh, stay focused on... It's like you're doing something right. This is what I'm hearing from your spirit guides. You're doing something right. Two of Wands. Uh, some of you could have traveled or you traveled. Um, or you could be traveling. Or your spirit guides could be telling you that uh, perhaps your... <clears throat> Let me adjust this. Perhaps either your job or something like that. Hmm. may require you to travel you could be making some decisions to travel possibly having to do with um perhaps more money may come your way by doing so or or you're making some decisions that are influencing uh manifesting your desires for this year uh some of you the desires that you had your wishes I'm seeing that um, <laughs> your spirit guides have not forgotten your desires, your plans, your efforts that you have put into getting um, the things that you want to manifesting. They're not in vain. Whatever steps you've taken, rituals perform like speaking to your spirit guides and also right now is a really good time to um it's always a good time and for whatever reason you know as we're coming into um slowly welcoming in the fall season i know some of you are like listen can we just enjoy the rest of this summer already uh for those of you who are you know uh in various parts of the world where the seasons are changing you know, you could be really looking forward to fall, weather, autumn. And this is a time in general, regardless of where you live around the world, like around this time, it's really 
um, a great time for rituals, rituals and connecting with your guides um, to manifest. And again, it's always a good time. And I'm seeing something about that. Now, there's something specific about these nights, these night energies, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Things are coming to you. Hmm. Who? For some of you, I'm seeing that some some debt is gonna be paid to you. Some something that someone owes you is gonna be paid. It's gonna be returned back. And uh, that person, whoever owes, may not have anything to do with this. It's it's being removed from them. Knight of Cups was the first one crowning the reading. I'm really seeing right now, like your relationships take precedence of, over a lot of things. And it could also mean that your relationships are also making way for a lot of different things. Um, it's almost like whatever's coming your way has to do with the relationships that you have. Like the relationships that you have play a major role in your finances, in your creativity, in your abundance, um, is really about the relationship and how generous you y'all can be to one another. Um, it's about an energy of reciprocity. It's an energy of community showing up with the Six of Pentacles. So the Nine of Cups is telling you that your relationships are... Um, have precedence your relationships are a major factor in the abundance energy that you see coming your way um knight of cups okay let me see tell me about this knight of cups okay okay this one flew over let's get this Okay, now, hmm. some of you could have been returning from travels. Um, this is why this Eight of Wands is here. This may resonate for some of you, maybe not all. Uh, you could have been returning from, from travels, uh, perhaps with a loved one. Hmm. Some of you could be traveling with a loved one. Like, whatever time of rest and relaxation I'm seeing that you're taking or about to take, it's like it's meant to do something it's doing something in your um in your relationship and your spirit guides are telling you the progress that you see especially this season um and take it as it resonates it has everything to do with your relationships your relationships see manifesting this is why your relationships are a major major part of your focus and a major part of your success your progress um things happening for you it has to do with you coming together in a community setting um there's some momentum being built so it could mean possibly that the challenges that you may have had uh doing things individually are not going to be as challenging um because of your partnerships okay see that the connections are everything all right the connections that you have this season of your life they're everything um and in a sense everything having to do with like overcoming struggles challenges has to do with working in a community setting uh, and a community doesn't, you know, well, let's just say what it is. A community could just be one other person or it could be a group of people. And it's, it's really about the energy of reciprocity that was shown in that Six of Pentacles earlier. That that's really pushing you, giving you the momentum. Because there's some things that you can do that the other person, um, you know, needs your energy and then vice versa. Um, there are things that you are also um, gaining uh, as a result of 
this connection, this relationship with someone. It's really a huge energy of reciprocity. I'm seeing that many of you are, you have a very strong community around you. It may not be small and it really, really is meaningful. And this is what, this is what counts. Okay. You have, you may have, um, you you have strong um, support. For some of you, I'm also seeing that uh, you have someone who's providing financial support, and vice versa definitely an energy of reciprocity there's something that you're giving to this person energetically and this person giving to you energetically that's making like everything else flourish Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands, something's beginning, something, some inspiration. Some of you, you really could be getting a lot of um, your this. There's a strong energy of like your creative spark showing up. Um, you could also be starting a new project. You have some new ideas that are like growing that are um taking flight is what i'm hearing these are new initiatives that you're taking you're starting that's going to increase your financial um it's going to increase your wealth and it's also going to teach you like a new skill that's going to then open doors for something else this season right now is requiring that you persist, that you stay the course. And this is exactly what these Knight of Wands represent. Okay. They're, your spirit guides are asking that you stay the course because essentially there are some major, major benefits that are coming out of this that are showing up in the uh, Nine of Pentacles. The benefits include finances and also includes like, you know, learning something new that's going to then open doors for other things. So your spirit guides are asking to persist in the work that you're doing. So some of you could actually may have come up with a new idea. Okay, you, you're going to notice that the ideas are flowing abundantly. And it's like it has it really has to do with like a positive heart chakra. You know, once you have once you're happy and abundant, it's like you're going to notice that things are going to, you know, flourish and they're going to um, creatively. You're going to get a lot of new ideas, which is going to influence, um, which is going to make way for a more positive relationship as well as like your finances and ideas so it's like everything is flowing together and this queen of cups is this energy that is um kind of showing what like how your near future events are impacted by this energy of persistence this community energy like it's it's really helping you to progress Okay, again, relationships. I'm seeing that blockages are being removed because of these relationships. This is the support that you're getting from. This is about. Mm, this is about the support that you're getting from those closest to you are. Are bringing a lot more like your relationships again that's the focus is those relationships um the support that you require that you need is coming 
and it's coming by way of these relationships for some of you there's an emperor showing up in your energy who is a libra gemini aquarius energy uh specifically this person is is part of this um the emperor is an energy of like i'm seeing really like everything it's, it's like you've got a tight knit of uh security right here like you've got um you've got you've got a strong you got some strong allies spiritually and i'm also seeing physically um with those who are in your immediate community setting that are providing like this energy of like reciprocal um like positive energy if that makes sense see this is about your connections again like your connections are playing a major role in overcoming all types of obstacles um financial okay so financial is one of them definitely in matters of the heart that's first and foremost because that's the first that appeared okay it's it's uh it's it's like showing up as some conflicts being resolved uh financially you know there's a benefit there because i'm seeing with the six of pentacles that showed up this energy of reciprocity you're giving to those in your immediate setting and they're giving back so it's like it's a continued energy of like supporting one another i'm also seeing that this effect is going to carry forward in what you do creatively you will notice that your thoughts are a lot more clear your ideas are coming they're flowing that's because you've got this like really bright light of a heart chakra it, it it's um <laughs> And it's like I'm hearing your heart is light. Mm -hmm. See, you see that energy? It's like overcoming obstacles. It's coming. All right. Those in your immediate setting, your community setting, whether this is a loved one, whether it is those who you consider um, to be major, you know, part of your current energy. If that makes any sense, like, you know, anyone that you really value, you, those connections, the connections that you value, okay? The connections that you value are really going to be the source of overcoming major obstacles. And this is especially in the area of finances, right? Uh, your spirit guides are saying be cautious of this energy here it may have to do with ego and or it may also have to deal with someone who's in their ego um who's in kind of like the background this may actually be a taurus virgo or capricorn and i'm seeing judging by the two of pentacles here uh there may be someone in this energy uh, this someone of this energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn uh, mm, that may be looking to kind of like benefit off of your success I'm really not seeing that this person is going to get far because this ten of swords is an indication that you've you've ended things with this person and there's no access they they have no access mm, page they may they may be thinking about you know being part of your team being part of your community hmm. so be cautious of this energy anything else you want us to know so, yep, financial gain, new beginnings are coming, the sun card, energy of positivity. For some of you, I keep seeing this ace of cups and the sun show up again, 
uh some of you may be expecting you know good news in matters of the heart specifically having to do with like children um things having to do with children and you're going to uncover something in relation to that uh there are some things that are going to be revealed to you some truth that's going to be revealed to you which may actually have to deal with um again matters of the heart family it's like it's like your spiritual team is like doubling up your abundance doubling up your your resources doubling up on the your community it's like i'm, I'm really seeing for many of you you're gonna see growth in your community setting or family setting um either by way of some of you actually conceiving some of you uh and again take it as it resonates for some of you this means that you're gonna see a growth in your community and i'm not seeing like it's a huge community for many of you like your communities are small and what really matters most is that they're really valuable the ones that you have like they're meaningful mm. some of you are getting a proposal <laughs> this is confirmation from here and i keep seeing the combination of these two things um for many of you there's a job offer coming there is a job offer coming for many of you you're going to receive a job offer that's going where you're going to feel like you're a part of a very strong community this offer is going to also release you from from some kind of like crossroads situation that you felt stuck and it's also going to bring the financial uh wealth and abundance that you need for many of you i'm seeing that whatever offer you're getting you're going to receive an offer that's going to take you out of a um some kind of situation for many of you it may be a situation having to do with your home st your stability your security um there's an offer coming yeah and you're gonna be part of some community setting some relationship setting possibly with this offer or this is something like aside from you know the strong communities that you got going in you just making progress you're just like making your way towards look at this ten of pentacles ten of cups you're just making your way towards like you know your time to be in the spotlight to shine and that's exactly what i'm seeing two two five five uh four ten stability beginnings Okay. What else do you want us to know? Mm, it shall comes out again. Rainbows represent happiness, represent joy. Look at that. Blessings. You're receiving blessings. Your spirit guide guides are saying no good thing shall be withheld. And goddess of teal walking let's see let's see this okay uh your spirit guys want you to know that whatever is happening on the level where you can't see they're dealing with it okay so consider the needs to cut cords to negative or unhelpful influences in your life whether they be habits people forms of entertainment and media that threatens to distort the pure and wise use of your wild spirit and ignited mind um be cautious of what you are taking in okay be cautious of what you're taking in because that can essentially influence your mind okay right now your guides are really telling you to keep your mind pure because you're in this energy of like healing and progressing um and that's exactly what what's happening so be cautious of what you take in because you're about to like do this thing manifest okay um i'm hearing also set goals set very specific goals for what you want make it very clear so some of you could be journaling or need to journal to document these things write them out because 
it's a it's about to be exactly as you wish it as you wish it to be that is the message if this message resonates please like comment share and subscribe until next time love peace and divine light